to my channel and my Sims 4 kit mini series showcasing the newest kits available by EA. This showcase is made possible by EA Creator Network where I'll be showing you all the goodies in each kit. So without further ado, let's get started. The Sims 4 Blooming Rooms Kit. Bring the outdoors inside with a lush greenery that breathes new life into any space in the Sims 4 Blooming Rooms Kit. Fill your Sims home with cheerful, peaceful plants, a perfect tranquility awaits. Uh, it says the kit features liven it up with a lush, soothing atmosphere of growth all around with unexpectedly leafy details and natural beauty and go green with potted and hanging plants that transform any room into a small slice of paradise. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to be honest with y'all. The whole time I was reading this, I thought I was reading a dissertation. I'm like... <laughs> can't even get my words right today but anyway it seems like this is just going to be a decorative kit which is um a nice change of pace I guess you could say from all of these um the clothing kits and I'm gonna be releasing these um you know at various points in the next couple of days so I'm not sure when this one's gonna come out in relation to the other ones but just a note I did record all of the clothing ones before I even started recording like the stuff ones. So this is going to be different. I'm excited to go check out some of these uh, build items. So we got quite a bit of different little plant options. Um, we got this here. I wonder if there's any gameplay associated with it or is it just all decorative stuff? On the picture though, I see all these hanging ferns and stuff, but I don't really see. Oh, here we go. So maybe that's it right there. So definitely can't wait to see these items in game. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we are in build mode and we got, I'm sorry, in buy mode. <laughs> and we got the first item here is of glass and greenery. Um, so it looks like it's a, what kind of table is this? It's like a, not an entry table, but maybe an accent table. So let's go check out all the different swatches. Ooh, I like the purple and the pink. Oh, these are really pretty. I like the fact that it looks like a garden underneath a glass top table. So that's actually kind of cool. So we'll just put that there for now. And I'm going to have to go around the swatches just to kind of get everything. And then we got the cryptic triptyke shelf. And I'm assuming or hoping that maybe these are three slots and we can just put like an item of decorative value on it. It does not come in purple. I was hoping it did so I could match it with this. It does not come in purple. Hello? What color would, okay. Um, okay, we'll just do, I guess, black. When in doubt. No, actually, when in doubt, never go black as far as color goes. But anyway, green home, greenhouse shelf. All right, so we got this one here. And I'm going to assume, we'll play around with it and see. I'm going to assume that this one you can put some floral arrangements and stuff in. Again, not a purple. I'm a little bit shocked. Like, unless that's not purple, and I'm thinking that's purple. Um, so let's let's do pink then. I guess since since we're 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 not batting a thousand right now with, with okay, let's do pink. Or maybe that's not purple. Maybe that's no, that's definitely like a lavender and a dark purple. All right, let's do let's let's do pink. We'll just do pink. All right, and then we have. Um, this houseplant hobbyist shelving. Ooh, oh, that's really cool. All right, and that one comes in a couple swatches as well. It has like a rust look to it, so it looks like it's been out in the weather. It's been gently used, and I kind of like that. This would be really cute for like, a gardening sim like I have a sim well in my not so berry challenge back when I was playing the first generation um, she was into gardening this would have been cute just to kind of decorate her little area um, especially because it got to a point where I was having her do um, flower arrangements and stuff just to kind of like practice because she was getting older I was like you know what you could probably start doing some retirement hobby type things I don't know. We probably won't keep this out, but I'm pretty sure this has slots on it too. So we'll check it out in a second. And then we got the Go Geo Plant Shelving. Asymmetric yet geometric. Oh, y'all. This is, I don't even know if I gave ourselves enough walls for all this stuff. Oh, this one is really nice. Oh, I would have this in my house in real life. I really like this one. That is really nice. 
Yeah, this one is definitely nice. I'm curious to see if we're able to put things on top of the shelf. So I'm going to leave one out because I'm just curious to see if we can put stuff on top because then that to me is just going to elevate it on a whole nother level. Uh, so next we have the propagation station. Okay, I have no idea what this is. It almost looks like a science experiment. Like don't these look like flasks with like plants inside of them so i guess this answers our question we could totally put these inside of here but is it me or are they look like they're missing like some stems or something i i don't i don't know but to me oh no they're there they're just very 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 skinny or maybe it's the paper thin yeah because see like right there it disappears but then it's just like you kind of go around it looks like paper thin like i don't even know like why is there no dimension to that but they definitely look super thin like the the and what i'm saying thin i'm talking about like the little stems on the leaves they look super thin but yeah this is definitely um okay <laughs> why these flasks look like something to me i'm just gonna go on and size this down anyway oh, we're gonna go ahead and put this on the shelf but yeah it looks like a um a science project so here it's like one slot but maybe here it's like a two slots because it's like went off to the side versus like in the middle. Uh, then we could also put these on here. I'm assuming maybe because it's a little bit, a little bit wider, like it's not going on that third one. Then of course we got these and can we put anything on top of here? It doesn't look like it, um, but that's definitely different. Did we check out the swatches we did? I was so busy trying to see what was going on with the leaves. I don't even think I remember doing that. Um, and then we have the green goddess pothos. Pothos, I feel like that's a plant of some sort, but it, it looks like it's a hanging. Does it hang? Does it hang from the ceiling? Oh, it hangs from the ceiling. I was thinking I could put, oh, I can't put it in the corner. You can not put it in the corner, but it's probably not working there because of that uh, piece of furniture right there. But very pretty. Let's put it over here. I like this, y'all. My mom used to have a plant like this, I want to say, but I want to say it was an ivy. I don't remember being called a pothos or anything like that. But, ooh, I like that. That kind of goes with the pink and the green down there. I don't, oh, I like this a lot definitely different I like that um, and I don't even know I'm trying to think now do we have any hanging trees I'm sorry hanging plants in any of the other packs that we've ever gotten I don't remember I know we had like the hanging like knit things oh that then that had plants in it okay so this wasn't the first time we've had like a hanging plant type item but I don't know the depth of this one and the length is just it's different to me um, okay and then we have the superb I'm not going to even try to butcher, say that name because I'm totally going to butcher that. But is it a, oh, it's like a little doggy. Oh, oh, look, it has flower options. A pig. Uh, I was about to say a gerbil, but now I'm thinking it has, it has spikes. So maybe a porcupine. I have no, you know what? Don't, don't, don't even, don't even quote me on that. A couple of animal option pots and a bunch of different options for flowers. So one, two, three slots with that. Only two at the top. For some reason, maybe you could put little ones down here and big ones up here. And then this one definitely has three slots. I just want to check that out. Oh, and you can put stuff on top of here. So one, two, three, four, five. So depending upon the size, of course, because, oh, y'all. They've, they've, we've learned them very well. And yes, I'm saying learned <laughs> because I swear, I feel like we would always be like, we need more slots. We need more slots. And how many mods have came out where it'll do like the unlimited slots and you can, but you'd have to put like that pole underneath it and then make it clear and then put the items on top of the pole. And it was like a whole mess. But I remember we used to always be like, we need more slots on our items. And they definitely listened. I, I give it to, I give it to the team over there. They definitely will sometimes hear our feedback sometimes, sometimes, and, and at, at least, you know, try to give us a little bit of what we've asked for or what we feel like we need in order to accomplish things that we want to accomplish. Did I completely miss this Lush Reflections end table? Oh, wow, this is pretty. Oh, there go that purple again that we got and didn't get ever again in life. Um, that's a little disappointing because I actually like this swatch probably out of all of them. And I mean, I'm, I'm mostly like, you, well, most of the time when I decorate and do stuff like that, I do a lot of um, neutral colors, but I do like to do, you know, plays on, on a color, you know, like a little pop of color, hit a color, something like that. And so I'm a little bit disappointed that this is 
purple and I like it and we don't have no more purple stuff it seems like did I miss anything else I'm like eyeballing these little icons here to make sure that I'm catching everything so um so we got the super nasturtiums nasturtiums all right then we got the fantastic Mr. Fern and this looks like another oh so this one goes on the wall so it doesn't have to be hanging from the ceiling so let's go check this one out and we got these color swatches the floor oh no it's different color leaves and definitely different color wood but pretty much the same color pot over and over but I, I like it it's definitely different uh oh from the side though that's a really nicely done I was about to say slot I meant <laughs> item a nicely done item I like that uh then we have the trio star Romanth, y'all. Oh, ooh, it's small. Why on the picture? I thought it was going to be bigger than that. So look at all these slots. Oh, EA, EA, EA. Thank you. I love it. Endless possibilities for de Oh, and then you can put it at the top too. Endless possibilities for decoration. Look, look at all this. Anyway, let's check out the actual plant itself. I'm getting so sidetracked. That is very cute. Oh, I like that too. All right, and then let's go on and scroll. So did I get, I wanna make sure I got everything because like I said, I'm trying to just go through the items that comes in this pack. All right, so then we have this a wall of verdant vases. Let's go on and grab that. Ooh, so I don't know what verdant means, um, but I don't know if that's like the type of vase this is, but it's interesting because it's like glass um, va vases that are, on the wall, right? And some of them have water. It seems like some of them have like a potting soil, but it gives me like a very organic feel. Like, you know, maybe someone experimenting with hybrids and they wanna just like, you know, get the plant started in some water and then move it over to the dirt and then maybe eventually move it over to their garden, you know? I don't know, that's that's the vibe it's giving me, but I do like it, it's very different. I don't see that purple. <laughs> Y'all are gonna hit, that's gonna be the theme of this video is where's the purple? Where's the purple swatch? Why we don't have more matching the purple swatch? Then we got Twee Tea uh, Planters by Simmergy, Simmergy Tea Sensations. Um, okay, so this is actually really interesting. And it's, it's funny that I'm looking at this now because a couple of days ago, I went to my local grocery store and it's still February as I'm recording this. And I, it's, it's, I think it's like coming upon the time where people will start like trying to start their gardens or maybe, or doing like their little indoor gardens or their hydroponics. I'm not sure, but they were selling like herbs and teas, like little mint leaves and stuff like that. And I was like, I would love to have like my own tea plant or my own tea garden type thing. So I could like pick the leaves. Cause I think I'll, from what I understand, all they do is pick the leaves and then they dry it. And then of course they make tea with it. And then you could put like either f not fresh fruit, but freeze dried, not freeze dried, but I guess like dried out fruit, dried out berries and things like that to give the teas flavor. And then if you have the mint leaves or like the lemon leaves, you could throw those in there too. I don't know. I just was like, that's so cool. So that's interesting. Cause I'm like, is that what this is supposed to be? I guess let's read it real quick. Cause I'm curious into tea, into plants, these old tea can. Oh, y'all mm, I'm in a whole different realm of thought processes so these are just tea canisters that they would have been in the trash but they ended up using them as a planter so they upcycled recycled uh reused anyway but no seriously real talk there are herbs and little lemons and mints and there was like a whole bunch of stuff I took pictures because I was like mental notes so I could like maybe later on down the line because right now I'm not in the mind state to be talking about planting and growing like a garden. So anyway, just a little side note. <laughs> All right, so then we got Sunny Day's Citrus Tree. Oh, this one is pretty. <gasps> Can I get a tree like this in my house? Like real talk that actually bears fruit and I don't have to plant it in the ground and I can literally have like fresh lemons or fresh oranges. This reminds me of a lemon tree because I used to have a lemon tree and it does flower like these really white fragrant flowers. Very, they smell really, really good. And then of course it has the lemons too. And um, I was I was growing it and it was doing really good. And then we moved and then it died. And I've never tried to re-get re it back, re not re-get it back, but I've never tried to get another one to do it again. But this reminds me of that, it's so pretty. But something like this will probably end up being fake, right? Cause I don't think you could really plant a small uh, citrus tree inside your house. But uh, then we got the Diffenbachia. Oh, I'm butchering that. This is for definitely your green thumb sims or those who want to decorate a lot with, <laughs> with florals in their home. Then we got the Fortune Favors, the Jade Plant. 
So we got this one. I like this one too, so pretty. And then we got the Faustus, the ZZ plant. Y'all, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Oh, did we get the purple swatch? Or am I tripping? That's not the purple swatch. Y'all, why we don't have any more purple swatch? Ooh, the Desert Rose. Oh, that's pretty too. I'm definitely seeing like the pinks and the whites and blues, but not a lot of purple. Then we got the Therapeutic Ficus. Oh, oh, that's nice. No purple again, huh? No purple. It's still a nice plant though. Uh, then we got the All the Rage Plant Cage. Oh, hold on. This is big. So a plant cage. Okay, <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, Y'all, check out the details. All the rage plant cage. Okay, I did see purple this time. Yep, I definitely saw purple this time. I saw a rose gold too, which is really pretty. Like even this one is really pretty. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, then we got the biophilic room divider. Room divider. I don't know what I was trying to say. Um, biophilic. Oh, y'all, these are pretty too. For a second, it looked like this top leaf was a butterfly. I think it was just the angle I was on, but that's really pretty. Um, then we have, this is what I saw in the, in the preview, the fine vine curtains. So let's check this out because I definitely wanted to see what this looked like. So it's kind of like a curtain, but then it's like, oh, that is really nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I got loud in y'all's ear, I was not expecting this. Oh, this looks really nice. Now, question. Of course, probably with move objects on, you could probably do this. But could you put curtains and then use this as well on top of the curtains? We might have to play around with that and see. But this is definitely, so far, I am blown away. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Out the gate, I was kind of like, oh, okay, okay, a whole kit dedicated to plants. I'm not sure I could, it, it makes sense to me. But, you know, let's go check it out. Um but this is like a decorator's dream. I don't see anything wrong so far with this kit. Like nothing on here so far is just like, huh? Everything is really nice. I can see a lot of use. Oh, is this a light fixture? Oh, wow. In glass pots. Oh, that is really nice. All right, so that's really nice too. But yeah, so far I'm, I'm liking everything. Then we got String of Pearls Lamp. This is another light piece. Hopefully you guys can see it good. I'm trying to go from an angle. We can see it really good. All right, there we go. Oh, wow, that's really pretty too. I, something like this though, I probably would do as an accent light. I wouldn't do like a row of them because that, that would kind of get redundant. But I do like the option of it. I think it's really pretty. Um, and then I think... I think that is it. I don't know for a fact um, that we got any build item stuff. I'm just gonna go through it one more time because like I said, I'm trying to go through um, all of this, the, the little icons here, make sure we hit them all. But I'm pretty sure, because we also got other plants it seems like with other packs, but we're not gonna focus on those. We're just gonna focus on this one. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much everything. I feel like this pack is a really good decorative. If you're a builder and you like to decorate, even if you're not a builder, but you like to live or have your Sims live in a very lived in home and it looks like everything has like, you know, I don't know, like, like I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like this is like a really good pack to get because I just feel like if you just play Sims, even if you don't build, but even if you just live Sims and you just want to have different options for decorating and stuff, this definitely adds uh, quite a bit of options and stuff to your to your existing pieces. And the funny thing is, I didn't even realize it had like little um, vases with water in them as well for that little piece right there I think if I if I'm not mistaken I want to say that this probably is my favorite piece out the whole set because that is really nice um and then this even though we know it really was just this this um thing it's like it seems like just them adding this to it it amped it up like oh it just looks very cluttered but it looks really nice 
And I don't know where these chairs came from. They're really nice. This is one of those um, plant lovers patios, one of those rooms. Um, but I, I, I do really like this set a lot. So, wow, this one is a really good one. I don't know if you guys are looking for recommendations or just looking for like just honest feedback. I definitely would highly recommend this one. I feel like it's a really good pack to add to like existing things that we already have just to kind of like amp up your decoration. And the funny thing is this might be... I mean, this is a lot of stuff from the pack and it doesn't look like super cluttered and it doesn't look like super like, oh, are you done? Like this is a lot you've put into it. No, I really feel like it was, it, this one is a really good one. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment box down below. I, I really enjoyed this one. I was not expecting that. Cause like I said, when I first started, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know about a plant kit. <laughs> I just don't know. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think down in the comment box down below. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up the video. I'd appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.